I'm Stuart Lowry, Director of Indy Parks. I'd like to welcome you to Eagle Creek Beach. We're standing here just behind me is where the rowing course is. Here in a couple of weeks we'll be hosting the NCAA Championship Rowing. Pretty exciting new partnership for us for the next five years. Time for us to get ready. Time for us to refresh and put everything in place and that's what we're doing over the next three days. City agencies, DPW, DMD, even the mayor's office is on the grounds in the parks right now making things happen. And we're going to take a peek at some of the work they're doing behind the scenes to get ready for you. Stuart Lowry, Director of Indy Parks. I'm here with Mayor Ballard and it's a great day. It's a perfect day to be out in the parks. And today we're doing a special program. It's called Refresh and it's a chance to get some of the uh, sister agencies out on the grounds in the parks and uh, do some great things before spring. So tell me a few things that you've seen already. We're here at Eagle mm -hmm. Creek Park. Right. And I think you're going to stop at a couple other places. Yes. It's uh, really amazing, May 9th through the 11th, obviously, uh, part, what we call Parks Refresh. A lot of the city employees are coming out and using their benefit time to do this. And I've got a listing of some of it right here at Eagle Creek. Mm -hmm. We have the mayor's office, which is nice. The code enforcement is doing Garfield Park, which is nice. Uh, DMD is Monon on 60, 62nd Street. Uh, public safety is at Fall Creek and 16th. And your folks is at Coons, uh, Parks Department is at Coons. So there's a lot of activity going on in the parks. But it's really just a, a, a piece even more so that's happening all over the, uh, the parks in, uh, in Indianapolis, you know, celebrating the 100 years. And we see the pools and the bathhouses have been redone, and it's just tremendous. I see a lot of volunteers also coming out into the parks this year. I, we're just early May right here, and Eagle Creek Beach really is very pretty right now. And sometimes it takes a, a while to get to this point. It's already here now. And I think that's what I'm seeing across the city people have really come out during the month of April and before to make sure that all the all the public spaces are pretty uh, amenable to everybody and just it's just very very special to see and I know one of the things that mayor you've really done is put the sister agencies together and you can literally see here rebuild Indy connecting to the parks right. with the roadways being redone and the resurfacing so Tell me more about what we're going to see because this is a busy year for Rebuild Indy and the connection right. that we're doing across the city. We are connecting up a lot of pieces. Obviously, people wanted the roads uh, redone, they wanted the sidewalks, and they wanted the connectivity so people know about the bike lanes and the greenways. But just coming down here to the beach, when you make that, when you come in from 56th Street and make that left turn on that road, that road used to be horrible. Mm -hmm. It was just so hard to, try, to drive on. Now it's completely resurfaced, it's smooth as silk, and it's just wonderful to come down here. People don't have to bump all the way down here to the beach anymore. It's, it's really, and the parking lot's redone too, so that's all special. That, that's the sort of investment that we're making across the city, and I hope people understand th this didn't just happen. It was the ingenuity uh, of, our, of a combination of teams, if you will, between uh, not only the Parks Department, Public Works, and so many other people who've come together to make sure that we can make this sort of investment in our city. And, uh, I'm thinking that it's very obvious when you look across the city, it's in every every area, every neighborhood, it's getting a lot of activity right now. And so again, we'd like to thank you, Mayor, and your staff for being out here today. So as we said, we're refreshing the parks, we're getting ready. Right. It's a real team effort and it's a special day and we're ready to welcome you and get you back in the parks. So I'm standing here with Councilor McHenry, who's actually on our Parks Committee and is here today with the team. I think you've got some of the Mayor's staff here with you as well. We're doing Park Refresh and she's going to tell us a little bit about why that's important and what actually have you been doing today. I see you have a can of paint in your hands. I have a can of paint. We're painting the park benches and as you could tell from the park bench right behind us, mm -hmm. it is definitely in need of a lot of refreshing. It certainly is a very positive thing going on for our area for our park here at Eagle Creek because these benches are utilized and it's going to make people want to utilize them even more because I know as a park patron myself it's kind of like okay we'll bring our own table or area if we want to come out for a picnic this is going to make it so the people actually want to come out more to the park and utilize the park and utilize the benches it's going to be a great asset for our park and very needed so certainly appreciate the opportunity to come out and paint the benches today and work with the staff and make sure that our park is refreshed and looks a lot better and a positive thing for everybody and thank you we appreciate it and as you can see the green benches match right in here with the trees and the grass so a beautiful new color and again we're refreshing all over the parks today 
Well, I'm standing here with Liz Gibson, and again, we're doing park refresh today, and we're doing some painting and getting out in the parks. So we've got you tucked in a nice corner here, nice and quiet, a few birds and a stream behind us. But tell us what you're doing today. Well, I'm helping to improve the park. We're painting uh, the park uh, uh, tables and benches today. And that's an important job because there's a lot of park benches here. I notice I've probably seen at least 20 just walking around in a small area. Mm -hmm. And where do you live? Which side of town? I live in Wayne Township, right off of uh, Country Club Road, not too far from here, actually. Great. Well, we appreciate you being out here today because it's going to take a lot of uh, elbow grease to get this all done. Right, and it's a beautiful day, so it's perfect. Well, thanks for coming out. Okay. Thank you. So I'm standing here with Alan McClendon, who's one of our senior managers and really uh, the man behind the curtain in putting all this together. So Park Refresh, I know we're here at Eagle Creek, which is one of our large regional parks, but we're really all over the city. So tell me a little about some of the other teams we're working with and how long we're doing this and other locations. Sure, and we have about a week's worth of projects here, all of them very important. And like Stuart said, we're stretching all across the city. So we are in Garfield Park, out in Broad Ripple on the Greenway, 16th and Fall Creek, which is a neighborhood park. Um, we're doing Ellenberger Park, which very much so needs a service project. And, um, Oh, I'm drawing a blank on and, the, and I think we're also, we're doing one. We, the parks team, is doing one, and I think that's at Kuntz, and is that tomorrow? You're exactly correct, and that's the one. I was forgetting Kuntz Soccer Stadium tomorrow, and we have about 50 volunteers so far. And as far as departments involved, we have Department of Code Enforcement, DMD, IFD, IMPD, Animal Care and Control, uh, in the parks, of course, the mayor's office. We've, we've got about seven or eight good departments that have a lot of people that are ready to do a lot of good work. Good. So as far as Scrabble, we'd, we'd be winning because we got a lot of good vowels and consonants in there working exactly. in the parks today. A lot of good vowels so, and but tell me too, Alan, because I know throughout the year we use a lot of volunteer groups. We always look for corporate partners. So tell me about some of the other things we'll be looking out throughout the year or if someone it has a corporation and wants to volunteer, what do they do to get involved? Sure, and all you have to do is visit us on the website, which is indyparks.org, and you can find my contact information there. You can also just call our customer service line, 327 Park, and let them know what you're looking for, and we certainly can find a, a detailed project that matches what we need, but also what a specific group may, may need. So we understand that there are small, large, and everything in between groups, and we certainly have projects for everybody. And again, we want to thank all the divisions and sister agencies for coming out. It makes a big difference, and we're going to have to make sure Alan stays rested because he's going to have a lot of thank you notes to write. But it's a great day for parks and refreshing here across the system. So I'm standing here with Elaine Dillahunt. She's our senior manager for aquatics, and we're in one of her open-air offices here by Eagle Creek Beach. Fairly unique part of our arsenal, but tell me a little bit about how this operates and what are some of the amenities you'll discover if you come visit the beach. Well, this is one of 21 aquatic facilities that we operate at Indy Parks, and it is quite unique because it's on Eagle Creek Reservoir, and it's a beautiful location, very relaxing uh, to bring the family out and just bring a blanket and relax and swim at Eagle Creek Reservoir. Um, it's very unique in another way in that we, two years ago, purchased an inflatable uh, play structure cl called Plunge Harbor. and. It has a huge trampoline, it has a slide that children and adults can climb up the back and then slide down into the reservoir. And it's been just a huge hit uh, with all of our customers. And so we're really trying to get the word out that Plunge Harbor and Eagle Creek Beach is a great place to bring a family and lots of shade, which uh, a lot of people like. And um, here, they'll need to pay the entrance fee to the Eagle Creek Park. There's two entrances, 71st Street and 56th Street entrance. And then uh, just follow the signs to the beach. And then there's a separate admission at uh, the beach to use this facility. Um, and, and as you can see, there's a lot to discover here at Eagle Creek. So not only would you have access to the beach, but there's trails, there's Discovery Center, the new Ornithology Center, so you can learn about birds. But tell me again the hours of operation for the, for the beach as mm -hmm. well as our other pools when they open, the dates and, and uh, some of the locations that you know are going to be pretty special with some of the other amenities we have throughout the system. Okay. Well, all of our pools open on Saturday, May 28th, and are scheduled to close on Sunday, August 7th. And the hours actually vary by facility. And Eagle Creek Beach is open uh, daily from noon to 6 p.m. Some of our facilities open as early as 11 and close at 7 p.m. Um, we do have slightly reduced hours on Sundays. We open an hour later at, at most facilities and close a little bit earlier. Um, so uh, 
other amenities that we have, last year we just added a slew of new fun things. We have a new slide up at SOM Aquatic Center and some new spray features up there. Uh, the slide at SOM is one of the longest uh, and it's fully enclosed slides that we have. Of course, we have a brand new pool at Bethel uh, Park and Family Center. A beautiful facility. We opened it at the end of last summer and uh, there we have uh, the largest speed slide probably in the city and it's, it's a really good ride. In addition, we have a, a spray feature play area that has a 50 gallon bucket at Bethel. It fills up and then dumps out on the kids so just a good time there. Um, we have climbing walls that we've installed at several facilities, um, five actually, and uh, some new spray grounds at the pools and in our parks. So 2011 is going to be another stellar summer for aquatics and for indie parks. And we talk about making a splash because it really is, we're making a big splash with the new amenities and hope you come out and join us as we refresh the parks and get ready for you this summer.